Lady Peoples, tis I, good day to this from the OTQ review, how's it going? I have a lovely box for you here today from the wonderful people of Yummy Twins and it's literally just arrived in my through my post box this morning from the lovely mailman so I'm going to open this up today, it's the day off, it's nice and cool for a change I can actually breathe, not sweat and sweat and sweat and anyway let's just cool down open some nerd stuff. Uh, this month's theme is pool party, so we're going to take a theme for the summer. Uh, I know there's an exclusive Sailor Moon item in this and a few other random bits and pieces, but I've been trying to avoid the uh, Yumi Twins Facebook page because they keep posting spoiler after spoiler and I likes me a mystery box. So let's pop this down here over yonder. Sorry for the crack, I've got a load of bags at the end of my bed so I'm trying to sell a few bits and pieces. So here is the book explaining what is in here. So just going to keep that to the side if I need any explanations of anything uh, Japanese. So, ooh, there's a few big bits, so I'm going to leave those to last. So, I'm going to open this up. Oh, and it looks like we might be missing an item. Okay, so, just a little pamphlet. Uh, so, hi Yumi Twins family, our mission to bring you the best car items that Japan has to offer with crate boxes. Uh, but we saw how much you guys love Detective Pikachu and we had to include something Pikachu related. This said, um, instead of the good determined notes described in your booklet, we have um, included some adorable Pikachu stickers. We hope you enjoy decorating whatever you choose and stay tuned for good determined notes in the future. Ah, um, okay. Well, I would much prefer some Pokemon stickers to good determined notes because I don't really use sticky notes that often. And they look super cute. Anyway, so we've got um, various stickers of different Pokemon from Gen 1 and uh, various other Gens. So if you can just see on there. So super cool. Let's pop that there. So. Gonna go for the little tiddly bits first. Ooh, what's this? So, oh, we have Hello Kitty, where well, she was on the front of the book, and it looks like a cute little keychain. So let's get all the clacky off her. I do like some Gashapon style keychains. I guess I have a huge Gashapon collection. <laughs> Uh, but I don't have that very many Hello Kitty ones. I've got like a couple of like traditional style Japanese Hello Kitty ones. Oh no, she came off her thingy. Oh no, I broke it. Oh well, I can try and fix it later. But um, anyway, there is the... Uh, where are now? She's so small, it's hard to hold. So there's the little Hello Kitty figure. So looking yummy and super cute. And has a little blue ball charm to hold it. And a little... Uh, bow, a famous characteristic bow. So it's super cool. Ah, the ring came off because it's very poor metal quality. <laughs> so I'm sure I can fix that. So let's get her back on the charm. So pop you up there. And I'll have to fix that later with some pliers. So she goes on the charm like that. But still, super duper cute. So uh, yeah, word of warning, don't pull off the plastic really hard like I just did because it'll rip the charm off. So, hello kitty, yum yum yum. Let's get on to the next item. Try not to look in here too much. So, ooh, it's very squidgy. Here it's Ryamakuma! And it's a lovely uh, double sided purse or makeup bag or whatever summery trinkets you want to put in here. Ooh, it's one of those nice vinyl bags, so it feels really nice. The problem is these scratch very easily, so just be very careful with these. So, very super duper cute. Uh, I recently watched the uh, Renamakuma Netflix series, and I, I pretty much marathon watched it over two days because it was just so cute. And, um, yeah, it was weirdly adult relatable because of the woman going through, like, all her changes of her friends getting married and her job being a bit rubbish and yeah we've all been there ladies we've all been there <laughs> and just having very sad days and just feeling very lonely and Rina Kuma comes along and puts some light in her day and uh, with a with also the little birdie dude and uh, Rina Kuma's best mate I can't remember their names unfortunately so cute Rina Kuma pooch and watch the series because it's cute like I said so let's see and try to go for all the small bits. So, ooh, here are the Pokemon stickers. Yay, I got the old style ones. Oh, these are so squishy. I don't know what I put these on though. They're cute though. All right, anyway, uh, here are the stickers. So we have uh, Pikachu, Gengar, Mimikyu, Ditto, Snorlax, and uh, some Pokeballs. So I had to keep the Gengar away ones for my partner because he absolutely loves Gengar. Uh, I love the um, the Pikachu ones, they're probably my fave. Um, the other ones had um, similar Pokemon, but they had Eevee, Litten, Rowlet, uh, Poplio, and yeah, 
so they had the different ones of the other starters but i like the ones with gengar anyway because gengar's cool so super cute stationery now let's see Ooh, what's this Ooh, ooh! we have a fan this is super needed in this heat oh this is so cute it's got sanrio characters all over it so so uh I'm just seeing what it does because I think this is one of those fans that you put water in and it spritzes you, I think. Um, but no, oh, there is an on off switch as well. Ooh, so ooh, ooh, that's super fun to use actually. So, as you can see, sort of on the fan, um, you can see past all the, the plastic, there's uh, my melody, uh, little twin stars, uh, Hello Kitty, uh, good Tama there on the corner and a cinnamon roll so cute uh so oh that's very cool so that's much needed in the heat so i'll have to look in the book but there is an on off switch but it doesn't seem to work but it looks like there is a water bottle at the bottom so let's take that out yes yeah, so there's a little bottle there uh here so i guess the on off switch is for the spritzer and yeah there is a spritzer so you put water in it and um it will cool you down so that's super handy especially on the buses oh and i go home from work it's like being sat in a microwave all the time so woo yay super duper handy so, and it has a little neck strap as well so if you're going to conventions uh yeah that's very very handy so cue I'm gonna go for the squishy. Ooh, my friend Jamie's gonna want this. <laughs> okay, I do remember seeing this on the Yume page. It is a Kirby Beach ball and it blows up into a huge cover. So, um, yeah, I don't really do beach sports or anything because I don't. I had a paddling pool and then I just got rid of it because it was the all smelly and gross and I just couldn't be bothered to keep putting it away. So I just got rid of it. So, oh my god, so he has a, a little rubber string at the top, so you, like those old school sort of, like, balloons you used to get, like, at the fun fair, and you used to do that all the time. <laughs> so that's cool. I'm just gonna uh, blow it up a minute and uh, just see what it looks like all blown up, so bear me a memento. Okay, so here's Kirby all blown up. Oh my god, I didn't realise it was so big. I thought it was gonna be like one of those little hand sort of balls, like smaller ones. But look at his little reeses! It took me a while to blow it up, but I did it nonetheless. And oh my god, this is fun. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely fun. <laughs> so I might have to hang him up somewhere because it's actually kind of cute. Um, I think my um my goddaughter Ellie and his, her brother um James would love this because they like Kirby as well. So super duper cute. So a really cool, fun summer item. So there is only one design. And yay, super cool. So, curb, 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 it's Star Wars shirt. So, yay, I love that. So, we're down to the last item, which should be is the Sailor Moon item. And yes, it is. And it's a Kila Kila canister. We had one of these before, but in Sororong Ganshin. And I put a load of like my confetti that I got with those pop teeny figures. Because, yay, yeah, might come in handy for a future wedding so <laughs> table decorations you know <laughs> so oh this is pretty and it's one of my favorite colors purple so i think i got the one away because i think there was one pink and one purple with different designs oh my god this is so cute and it's so pastel as well so I'll just show you the um illustrations on here so there is a uh, little usagi looking very very pretty with her hair blowing in the wind then we have the um Various lockets, the wands, transformation pendant, and the moon stick, and there's the Sailor Moon also looking very pretty, or uh, Super Sailor Moon, I should say. And there's the sword, and all the other various items used by the Sailor Scouts. And there's the lurch looking very pretty and holographic with a lovely little diamond on the top. And ooh, look at that, it's so shiny and pretty. So I do love that. So that would be one item that I'm definitely going to keep. Uh, super duper shiny because this is going up in my Sailor Moon collection straight away. Because I love my Sailor Moon. Because I've got a lot of figures now. So that was everything in the box. So let us go to the booklet in case there's anything we need to know. So obviously again, 
there is the lovely image so Selim Kuganshin which wasn't in the box so I'm not sure if that was part of the notepads that we were meant to have there's Kirby uh, all the Sarria gang and Sailor Moon sitting by the poo so here we go about the theme so Konnichiwa, hey there you may twins family. It's summertime and the weather heating up. We hope you're looking forward to getting outside and enjoying the sun. We had exactly in mind what we put together this month's section of goodies for you. Isn't it funny how the sun comes out somehow it magically brightens our mood. We hope you're feeling motivated and get excited to get together with friends or a fun day in the sun or a pool party. And don't forget to bring along your items from this month's box and we hope you enjoy. So super duper cool. Uh, then we have the uh, streak. So um, if you remember, I've mentioned before, uh, Yume Twins have a, if you're subscribed to them, have a system for points. So um, if you look on your box, there's a unique code that you enter and you get points. And so far I've gotten up to my eight streaks, so I get 10% off my subscription forever. So super cool. And when I get up to my 15th streak, I get 15% off and then I can use points to buy anime goods and snacks and whatever I want. So it's a really good thing to do for a subscribe subscription system. Keeps you interested in it. So uh, then we, so just briefly review, we had the uh, Kirby inflatable ball. Uh, to bring a super kai item to your pool party, have fun passing around or use the rubber band to bounce him up and down. Uh, I've not actually played Kirby games before. I've only briefly watched that really weird anime series they had on 4Kids, which was a horrific dub, but it was fun to watch for you and your kid anyway. So there's Kirby. So woo! Uh, then we had the Handy Mist Fan, uh, so there was two types, so there was the Sanrio one and the Suroroko Ganshi one. So uh, with the weather warming up, don't forget to bring this handy dandy fan with you to pool parties. It takes no batteries, so you don't have to worry about running it out of power. You press the level repeatedly to spin the fan and generate a cooling breeze. And if you need cooling um button on the side to turn on the mist feature and comes in two designs so i got the summary one which is a lovely pretty pink so super happy with that then we had the see the moon jar so um handy for storing hair cosmetics accessories sorry hair accessories cosmetics or candies and comes in pink or purple so the pink one had a nicer design but i mean still have like the purple because the purple's pretty pretty uh, then we were meant to have the Suroko Ganshi notes in it, but so we got the Pokemon stickers, so I'm, I prefer the Pokemon stuff to be fair. Then we had the cute carrot pouch, so I got Rinamakuma. There were a few other designs, so there was uh, Gudetama, um, Sinro, Hello Kitty, and Suroko Ganshin again. <laughs> they, they love Suroko Ganshin and Yumi Twins, but I'm happy I got Rinamakuma because it's super cute and it's really handy to put like tablets and little cosmetics in and then finally we had the keychain which unfortunately i broke but i'm gonna fix so don't worry uh so again it was pretty much all samria based so it was rina makuma um the little white bear dude i can never remember his name uh good Atama, which i would have loved or oh, my melody uh so yeah it's super cute so there's just a little picture of the ones that we could have gotten so Anyway, and there's the pouches that we could have gotten as well. So super cool. So let's see what the competition is. Oh, there's just a brief feature on the curly ball. And then this month's photo contest. Okay, not one I'm going to run out and do for, but uh, this month's prizes are my Melody plushes. And I think these are uh, little pens, I think. And... Yeah, they're chocolate pens, so they're meant to be like little chocolate bars, but pink with my melody on, so super cute. And um, for the prize, you've got to take a picture or video of yourself with the Kirby ball, so showing off them bounce skills or just playing in the pool or whatever. But not a competition I'm going to rush for because I'm not the biggest My Melody fan. I'm more of a Hello Kitty and, um, uh, damn it, uh, the their brain. The pink dude, the yellow dude, uh, pump, uh, ah, I've forgotten his name, whatever. The, the one with the brown beret, I forgot his name. That sounds really bad when I want that one and I forgot his name. <laughs> anyway, and uh, this drop box is a quite good one. So you have all Rina Makuma items. Uh, so if you're subscribed to the box, obviously you wouldn't know what the prize draw is. Uh, so if you're in the brand of the prize you get this and you get loads of lovely like little towels handbags mini bags little mini plush and loads of other super cute stuff so super super cute 
that is really bothering me that I can't remember his name now. <laughs> so, not pom pom pudding? Yeah, pom pom pudding, I think it is. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, then we have just a feature about the subscription service feature for all the points to make sure that you're not getting all your goodies. And then just all the photos of everyone who took pictures with their plush from the last box. And uh, I completely forgot to do that. And loads of people are wearing the hat. And I've got it over there on my little plush stack on the shelf. You can't see it, it's off camera. I didn't realise you could take the hat off. I wanted to keep it on because it kept falling off the plush really bad. But, <laughs> oh well, fair enough to each and every one. So guys, that is everything for this month's Yummy Twins. I'd appreciate you um, joining my video. Um, if always, please hit that little notification button at the top so you get all my latest updates. I do figures, manga, films, anything that's nerdy, I, I, I like to review. So please stick around for my current videos. So anyway guys, enough about me blah blah, it's getting really hot in here now so I'm going to need this fan and fill up with some water. <laughs> and uh, hopefully I will have uh, my anime loot crate soon because because of all the problems in the distribution centre, it's been delayed. I've had not even had my last three loot wares which have been really annoying and they were meant to be shipped out at the end of June. and still nothing so i don't know and um hopefully i'll get the next um nihon box in a couple of weeks time i know um it's adventure based so i'm looking forward to that because it's got uh seven of these sins in it which i absolutely love and yeah super cool so if i don't get loot crate anymore then i'm gonna stick with nihon box and Yumi twins and koi box anyway guys enough about me bothering i'm going on and on i'm getting too hot so anyway i am going to say sayonara and stay nerdy Stay happy and keep collecting. Bye.